How to professionally seal attic air ducts with froth pack sealant. You need froth pack sealant, Tyvek hooded coveralls, eye protection and respirator with organic vapor and P100 cartridge, nitro gloves, and a trash bin. First, make sure all flame sources are extinguished. Then, prep the area and double check the manual. Next, check that the kit contents are optimally between 21 and 32 degrees Celsius. Then, mix the tanks. Lift the InstaFlow dispenser from the box and fully uncoil the hose. Now, coat the inside face of the InstaFlow dispenser with petroleum jelly. Fully open both tank valves. Then, check for product flowing through lines. If there's no product, shut tanks off immediately and check the troubleshooting guide in the manual. Pull the trigger of the InstaFlow dispenser and spray until both streams are equal. Wipe down the dispenser face and apply more jelly. Push the nozzle firmly into the InstaFlow dispenser. Pull the dispenser at least 15 centimeters away from the spray area and fully engage the spray trigger when you're ready. Spray from top down onto the gap where the drywall meets the air duct, moving in a steady motion. Keep in mind that the foam cures in 30 seconds. Once spraying is complete, place additional insulation back over the cured foam. Push down on the ejector to remove the nozzle. Clean the product from the dispenser face with a clean rag. Then reapply one last coat of petroleum jelly and firmly reinsert the used nozzle once more. Close both cylinder valves and store. Reuse froth pack for up to 30 days. Continue ventilating the area for at least another hour. That's it! Applications of froth pack sealant up to 5 cm thick by 10 cm wide can be left uncovered, not to be used for full attic insulation. And that's how you professionally seal attics with ease using froth pack sealant.